Okay, so the question that we want to consider here is why are gas prices so variable? Okay, so you notice here how we can start off as we say, suppose the oil price is going up. Okay, oil prices tend to be variable, say it's though it is, in this case, increasing. Okay, so if the oil price goes up, what does that mean? Okay, now what it's important to know is that oil is used to make gas. Okay, so if that's the case, when the price goes up, cost of making gas is going to increase. And so what is that gonna mean for the market for gas? Okay, it means that the supply curve is going to shift and it's going to shift to the left. Okay, so let's try to show this in terms of the graph. Okay, so we've drawn our graph and basically it has its initial equilibrium. So now to incorporate this increase in cost, okay, we basically get the following. So the supply for its part shifts to the left. And we get this. Okay, so notice in terms of the impact, we could say, you know, on one level, okay, usually what happens, or what happens when the supply shifts to the left is that we have the price going up and the quantity going down. Okay, kind of the worst of both worlds for a consumer. However, notice in terms of the degree, where is most of the change happening? Okay, in terms of the quantity, the quantity decrease is small. It's not really changing that much. But where you see a big change is in terms of the price. Okay, the price is actually increasing by a lot. Okay, and so what explains this? Why is it that the price seems to be changing so much, whereas the quantity is changing by very little in comparison? Okay, it has to do with what? The demand curve. Okay, notice that it's because the demand curve is steep. And remember, what does that mean? If the demand curve is steep, this is basically an inelastic demand. Okay, so an inelastic demand, right? Think about it. Gas prices. Gas. Gas is not something that people are particularly responsive to in their demand with regard to price. You have to go do what? You have to go do chores. You have to go to work. You have to go to school. There's really not much you can do when the price goes up. You still have to go from place to place. And so because it's not very responsive to changes in price, that's what happens when we see the supply shift. It's basically just seen as an increase in the price. Okay, so in terms of why gas prices are variable, we could say it's because you know, it has to do with oil prices and the changing. But the key thing to know here is because the demand for gas is inelastic.